Hello YouTube and we are here today with another Nikoth duel but this is going to be with a different deck than my pure build. This is going to be what I originally ultimate minus. Yet it is something that's different than what I originally intended to be. I was running, at first I was running spiritual water arts yet then I found with all my burning abyss monsters I wasn't running enough um, water monsters so I took that out. Be it this is still very much a deck that focuses around making your opponent go evil minus. And I think I'll go Shrit. Shrit set set. That would be my plan. If he blows up my back row, I'll prep and be able to search for Brio, of course. That'd be my only target. But then I'd be able to drop the Brio for a Valkyrie, which is the new card that they added to, um, you go pro. This is you go pro, not dev pro. And so, in my, I, this this version of the deck would be very better if Fall is local legal, because I am running two Manjus, which I will switch out for two. Um, for two, uh, God, I can't remember its name. Two call you. I will switch out the Manjus for two of those, and that will allow me to be able to two a guide into our Skarms that I obviously play, and uh, then also be able to get that search off for the ritual spell. So, it is, the, be it as far as the deck goes, it is really nice. We are running a second gen besides the Lisa we're running. Is it Pognastic? I think it is Pognasticated. Oh, oh wow, and we're drawing to Trisha. So that's, that's not bad at all. Wait, I don't want to summon Trisha, because I don't have gen, any of the gens really. In fact, actually, right now, it wouldn't be that bad of an idea to say screw it. And, and so, yeah, this Valkyrie, I really like Valkyrie in this build, I am running him at 2, be it, um, in the pure build, I ran him at 1, be it, he's really nice with cards like Skarm, and Kata and Steph, and definitely Shrit, and, um, the Jin. he works well with pretty much any monster that searches in one way or another, because he will get rid of them. And you get a draw, and so not only do you get their that search, but then you get that draw. So it's literally pretty much a plus one. So that's going to be really nice. And here we are going to use Shrit's effect, and then we're going to use Valkyrie's effect. Normally, I like to attack with the monsters. I'm going to search for because next time I'm going to search for another Shrit so that way I can actually get a plus one. Um, be it um, if I would I flip up. Him, he'd kill himself, so I wouldn't need him. Since Garm would still get his effect. Do you know that it can also, uh, oh, we have no more targets. That's funny. Um, but, um, do you know that I can tribute him, so that would be real nice. It'd be a lot better if it was a quick effect, but then it would be a little bit broken, one sense. Because not only do you get rid of your monsters, so they can't do one to one or whatever, but then you get to draw two cards. Powerful. But hopefully he'll last uh, this turn. And we get to search out a two guide, which isn't bad at all because that will then allow me to get off a special summon next turn for another monster. So if I wanted to, I could tribute both those, but I'll probably execute them. Now in this build, as you saw, uh, saw I am not running Unicorn Gun here, or yeah, I think those are the only two I'm not running that are out right now. It's all pretty much straight on. Just using two guys to have a play every turn. Like just making like threes. We want one astral force so we can make ladies and yeah, okay. And then we're running one mass change which can allow us to make actually no, I can't even make acid anymore now that I took out Gishki Chain. Oh uh, yeah, I can't Oh no, I could use Shred if I wanted to, but that'd be a long shot. But um yeah, the deck is really, really nice. I really I really like Valkyrie. If you're running the pure build, I suggest running him at one. Yes, he he's really great, especially if you end up like drawing into too many Trishulas and you can't do anything with them. You can get rid of a couple. You can get off that special summon. Ah, uh, if he wants one on one thing, I'm gonna have to drop Trishula. I just, I can't. I can't. I do want triple Trishula, so that isn't too big of a problem. Yeah, there's that one on one. But I am sorry, I cannot let that go through the... Oh, 
so it is really nice that Trisha can do that. It just it's actually pretty balanced. Like he has great effects, both of them, but yet um again his obviously his uh, monster effect is really, really broken but yet um, It's great how they had this card that you kinda want in your hand, but yet also want to have on the field at the same time. And we get supply squad. Supply squad's really great for this deck. Switch out this switch. Activate the flight board. Yeah, I can activate that prep. Wasn't sure if it was a once for 10 thing, but nope. I only won triple brio. Run the max. We do in one, search one, and then search the other one with trick. So, do we want to exit summon that to? Question of the day. Difficult question. Um, yeah, I'd say so. Um, yeah, I'd say that I'll go into my equip just for uh, some. Uh, protection or security, pretty much, whichever it is. Uh, I think protection is a uh, like protection is like male force and defense. Yet, um, security is cards like uh, wiretap and land. Oh, well, that's lucky that we have just one left, and as we saw, we got that plus one. How many of the gems do we have? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I probably shouldn't have made an equip. But oh well. He's really he's mech grip's really great. I've loved playing him with rituals. I highly suggest you play mech grip if you're running rituals. Because he's just great at defending. Even if you just need to open up with him and give you two turns to just stall a little bit that that can be really really nice now i just i even i like after playing through all like i don't like to stall as a way to get cards to it seeing how rituals are just so powerful most of the time especially with the gen research where even so there's very little you can do afterwards so, oh you can't lose them but please let me get that gardener out and i do not want him to get another 101 so I am going to detach that time. Something I kind of had to do anyway, so that way to get off the search. Even if he has another 101, he cannot absorb him, but he can cast sell him. He's gonna excite on me. Oh. He's not even. That's a very risky play, sis. Very risky play. If I draw into one of my gin, it's G it's game over for you. I hope you will like that. Which I did not. Very unfortunate. I want to make him because I might need him for that um, marshmallow. There we go. I think I won't make anything. Instead, I'll draw. Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh, that's just too nice. Where did top deck like a bomb? Going into that astral force was really nice. And if he tries to use these bolts, I'm like, nope, he's just gonna blow up some of my back row. Probably should run BOS in this deck, seeing how there are more darks in this. So Beezleboz only gets to destroy that one good. Who will be my face on or will be supply squad? That is the question. Probably should have set these guys up so that way he'd be more likely because I'd rather have supply squad. And he's gonna hit my prep, that is dead. So that is really, really nice. And we shall set duality. Not that we'll probably ever use it because next turn we'll see. we're uh, gonna have a two again. That should. Is there any more of us gone? Don't know. But it's gonna be really hard for him to do much next turn either way. Kind of with you two a guide and you just use Valkyries on the monster that you with both two guys and the monster you summoned, it's a plus one actually, because the, the monster you summoned was never in your hand. So that's really, really nice actually. Now, after this, he, he's, he's really good. I like him better than his, I like his monster effect way better than his other effective stalls. No, I have one more. Yeah, I only have one more too, so I don't want to waste it. I don't see him being able to make much, even if he tries to make a rank three. Ooh, and there is a Meteon, but too bad he isn't gonna be able to really use them because I still have Durandal. Do you know you can use Durandale with uh, Dark Lord to force your opponent to um, uh, go minus one? Okay. Eh, this is too mean. Last time it was this one, but mm, now I'm gonna lose. Cause I'm probably gonna shuffle my hand back in. Just gonna go with the other one and shuffle my hand back in. That sucks. Oh well, we drew into one of the gens if we can get what's his face. There should be. Actually, there should be, um, uh, a shred in our grave, which is gonna be really, really nice. No, I do not want to use Astral Force. And we draw into the other one, so that's even better. Oh, I guess we don't have a shred in grave. I thought we had a shred. Oh no, this guy can't use shred in grave. So that's okay with us. So then I guess we'll just banish, might as well banish the threshold, I'm not getting him back, there's no way for me to get him back with this deck. Go on Exomir. Um, do note that this deck, you cannot at all use these gins with him, because it has to be Aiden, so unless you were to have another level 2, you wouldn't be able to.
first I need to try to dex in. If I, yeah, I should be able to dex in. I still have another two of these gens if I don't have a skirm. Do I have a skirm? That is the question. No, we do not. So I'm just going to go with this guy. And then just activate its effect. Kind of wish you could discard cards, uh, spell cards to the thing, and that would just be too bad. Because I this card's absolutely dead at this point. Let's make Nightmare Shark. Nightmare Shark him. Now next turn, if I wanted to, I could probably tribute the other Valkyrie. Because I don't think I'd have much of a need for him. Uh, if he gets out Metion again, it wouldn't be the worst of things. So yeah, mm. tell me what you guys think of Valkyrie. Do you are you guys planning on running him? How many copies are you gonna run of him? And uh, what type of build are you gonna run the other than I should have gone over his effect. Him will be at again. I'm not sure if I told you guys already, but yet his effect is simply if you inflict battle damage with the ritual monster. So I get this card's one card, which is pretty nice because Trishula, the one you would use it on, already makes your opponent go minus one in the hand. So that discard. While well, discarding can cause effects, specifically with Shadows, and just like, just random uh, cards can get effects in Grace. Oh wow, he has that top deck. <laughs> At least you can get out of monsters. But, um, yeah, um, it's really nice. It's really nice. I do definitely recommend playing Spiritual Water Art. Uh, if you're running the Pure Build. If you're running the Pure Build, um, I recommend using Spiritual Water Arts, because if you don't know what it does, it is pretty much a trap dash where you look at your opponent's hand and send one card from their hand to the graveyard by tributing a water monster. Unfortunately, Shrit does not get his effect from it because it's not a, he's not being tributed for a card effect, he's being tributed for... Oh, wow, then that's nice. This is GG. This is so GG. I don't even know what he's talking about, but yet I'm going to summon Trisha, and unfortunately he doesn't have a hand, so I can't really show you the combo. And just because I always like to see what I'm about to top deck. Yeah, this is definitely on a high scale game. Because now I get to banish a Shrit and one of the gems. So, graveyard. Graveyard. And do I want to double chain? I want to race it. Race it like that. And so, this is GG. Oh, opponent can't even play the game anymore. At this point, he has nothing in his hand. I'm going to banish everything. And even if he did have some, if he had two cards in hand, he wouldn't have them. So, he'd be on a high level of, I screwed. He should have used Beezle Buzz right away. That was probably his big problem. Now, my only question is, if I didn't Jin and he had Gores in hand, would he be able to use Gores? Because it doesn't start a chain in what I've seen. Like, it just happens. And so, it's just really confusing. I want, and same with Trigodia, I'd have to, if I get the card, I'd have to take it to my local judge and uh, ask him. So, i uh, see what he thinks. Or if you actually do know, tell me, if can you go as, if uh, you 
used as you have to discard for prognosticating. Because I've never seen it. Like, these gems are all really, really weird. Because they're not really treated as, like, effects. Like, you can't... Like, if I level you air the monster, and it gets breaking skills, I, the effect still goes. Because it's, it's just weird like that. But yet, um, tell me what you guys think about Valkyries, about the gens. I've seen a couple build in Nikos where they don't want any gens. I think they're retarded. Uh, and, um, tell me on what, uh, card you think Nikos should get. Like, I heard that they're supposed to get a trap card. So, tell me what trap card you, what do you think the trap card would be like? I am hoping that you'd be able to tribute one monster from your opponent's hand and it would count as the entire tribute. I think that'd be really, um, nice. Probably just a little bit broken, be it pretty nice. But yet, um, just tell me what you guys think in the cloth and what you think I should add and what I should do. But um, most of all, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos, which will be um annotation will be over here when I'm done talking. If I can ever remember to put annotations up, and there will be links in the description. Definitely, there will be links in the description, especially the Swagworks link, which can help make all of this deck a reality for you once it becomes TCG. Using Swagbox, you can get every single card here for just some time. No money. You won't be giving up any of your money just for some time. And so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Bye. Hey, if you could click on the links in, on the annotation to see the duel with this deck or some of my other videos, that would really help. And check out the links in the description to watch some of me and my friends' videos and even something that could help make this deck a reality for you. See you guys later. Bye.